Today we're going to talk about simulation of your ladder diagram here. And to access the simulation, you have your completed diagram. You come up and turn the power on. Turn the power on and you can see the diagram changes from your building to your simulation. So we'll come up here and we'll turn our power switches on. And you can see the lines change to show that they're energized. Power off, power on. You can use this feature to troubleshoot a circuit that's not doing what you expect it to do. Okay. Now, to operate any of the switches, you left click on them. For instance, I'm going to left click on the stop switch here, and you can see the power over here go from blue to black. Okay, de energized, energized. Now I'm going to push the start button. Okay and you've got the system operating here and you see the coil energized now and you look down here these contacts are closed and the motor is turned red or energizing okay you see these contacts have opened turning the red light off these contacts have closed turning the horn on okay so I'm going to stop this now there's something that you can come up here turn the power off Go to Options, and let's turn on your sound effects. Let's enable them. And we're going to come back here. Turn this on. You can hear the power circuit breaker turn on. Close the switch. Start the button. Okay, the motor starts up. Make a noise, and we'll hit Stop. Now you can certainly use the options to get yourself some feedback and run this or uh, use it to drive your family crazy while you're doing your homework. Okay, let's go back to power off and I'm going to turn the options and turn the sound effects off. Alright, let's go back over here. Now a few things. You can operate switches even though they're outside of the power line. So let's say I want to open this up. Okay. I just right clicked on it. it's locked so it can't change. Now it's locked. I start this. It doesn't change operation. It's locked in the on position. So I'll right click again and take the lock off and it goes back to normal. Now let's say you want to operate it outside of its mechanical or electrical operation. Come over and left click it. I can turn it on and off. Same thing with the horn. Okay, now we'll turn this off. Let's come back over here, right click on the horn, and we're going to set the sound effect. Notice it didn't sound the first time, so I'm going to, you have a choice of what kind of tone you want. Let's select the siren, number two. Okay, and options, sound effects enabled. Here we go. There you go. Enough of that. Okay. Again, I'm going to go turn the sound effects off. One of the nice things about constructors is if you put a short circuit in here somehow, it will help you find that short circuit. So let's put a connection there. Put a connection right here. We'll go back up and simulate it and turn it on. Uh-oh. Would you like to view the shorted area? Yes. Okay, so you see up here our circuit breaker is tripped, and we can come down there, follow the blue, see the path. Oh, it wasn't supposed to do that. There is our little short circuit. Okay, turn it off, come back here, get rid of the short circuit, and you can check it out. Everything's good.